Hey, what's up? It's your girl, Neek, and you're tuned in to Neek at Night, and I'm coming back to give you guys an update in the Malaysia Booker case. Now, there was a lot of speculation and a lot of rumors surrounding this case, and I tried to give you guys the information that I had on this, but like I said, the story was all over the place. Well, it looks like the actual guy was not linked to the first guy who had the viral moment with her. It looks like there was actually a serial, pretty much like a serial killer, that was out trying to just kill people and Malaysia was one of the ones that he killed I'm gonna play this report for you guys really quickly but before I do I want to give a shout out to Miss GP the woman who I have been in communication with from the very beginning she came to me and she brought this to me very very quickly I also want to shout out D and Sheree who live in Dallas because they were like listen you know we get the news fast and it, it gets to us before the outside people get to it and they want me to no. So shout out to all of you guys who were very swift and getting this information to me and letting me know. But let me give you guys a little bit of clip of what happened and what went on. Late this afternoon, Dallas police announced a break in their investigation of recent murders of black transgender women. Thanks to a tip from the public, witness statements and cell phone data, detectives were able to link the murder case of Malaysia Booker to two other killings that happened days before her death. OK, so as you see that they linked her killing to two other killings, and they also believe that the killing of Chanel Lindsay, if you guys remember, there was a transgender who died, I want to say two weeks after Malaysia, and they feel like he is a person of interest in that as well. I'm not going to play their whole news clip, but I'm going to now just read to you guys what they have written up. And it says Dallas police have arrested a serial murder suspect who they say killed Malaysia Booker and at least two other people. Police also said he is the person of interest in the murder of transgender woman Chanel Lindsay. And then it also says Kendrell LeVar Lyles, 34, has been charged with Booker's murder along with the murders in two other cases. He was arrested on June 5th. Lyles was being held without bond in Cullen County Jail in McKinney. He has no attorney yet to speak for him. The investigation into Lyles began on May 22nd when Dallas PD got a call about the shooting and a woman was shot there and later died from her injuries. Police got a tip that Lyles had committed the May 22nd murder. Someone who knew Lyles gave police details about the case that only the suspect would have known. A warrant was issued for Lyles for that murder and he was arrested on June 5th. Investigators were later able to connect Laos to another murder in the 17500 block of Court Road. On May 23rd, a witness told police that she and Laos drove to meet the victim as part of a drug transaction. As the victim went to his car, he was shot by Laos and later died, police says. Laos was also charged in his murder case. It then says during the investigation into the two murders, detectives found that Lyles drove the same kind of car that picked up Malaysia Booker just before her murder on May 18th. Evidence put Lyles near the scene of where Booker was picked up and where her body was later discovered. Booker was last seen getting into a light colored Lincoln and which is the same car that Lyles drove. Malaysia Booker was fatally shot last month, just weeks after being attacked in a mob-style assault in Dallas on April 12th. We're glad the police took this serious, says Kirk, with abundant prosperity. It is a good day, and now we want to make sure that he is prosecuted. Booker is one of three black transgender women who have been murdered in the city of Dallas in the last eight months. Brittany White, who was used to go by Traylon Brown, was murdered last October. Her family only released a photo of her before her transition. Shortly after Booker's body was found, the body of 26-year-old Chanel Lindsay was pulled from a White Rock Lake on June 1st. Detectives say Lyles may also be responsible for Lindsay's murder. He is being considered a person of interest in that case. So I just wanted to bring you guys a little bit more um, of an update since, like I said, the story was all over the place. There were so many conflicting stories. People were saying, you know, it was related to one thing. It was, you know, prostitution. Then other people were saying that it was a car accident and then the people was demanding money. And then other people were saying that people was trying to like 
stick Malaysia up and try to get her money or whatever and rob her. There were so many stories. But now that this has come out, it looks like the guy was just on a prowl to murder people. So that's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And um, let me know what you guys think down below. All right, guys. Peace.